Ted, have you, as a group, worked out what went wrong in the, the second half last weekend? Because up to that point, this season had started brilliantly. Yeah, um, I thought we were comfortable first half. Um, similar happened against Accrington, obviously, in the first game where we just come out the gates a little bit slow, but I think we've rectified it. We know like what we need to work on and we'll put it right this Saturday. Yeah, as a, as a first real setback, this is a kind of find out about dealing with adversity for the first time this season. Yeah, definitely. Like It's never going to be a clean season. Like There's always going to be bumps in the road and hopefully we've just got the first one out early enough and we can go on a good run now. Fingers crossed. You've been at the club two months now, incredibly, when I was looking back. Was it good to get the move sorted early in the summer? Yeah, definitely. Like It all happened pretty smoothly obviously earlier the better for the player and and the club um always good to like come in on the first day of pre-season so you can really like bond with the group and get training straight away so now it was perfect worked really well for me do you feel that was really helpful in your preparation for the season the fact that you, you kind of knew what you were doing you were able to spend the entire pre-season with your new teammates get to know the club get to know the players manager etc yeah definitely i think like when you come in a bit later, it can be a bit uh, disjointed and you don't always know like where you where you stand. Um, but it was, well, yeah, like I said, it worked perfectly coming in from day one and getting to know everyone, getting to know the other players and staff and yeah, that no, was good. How significant an opportunity for you personally is, is this load at Doncaster? Um, yeah, it's massive for me. Like it's what I've been looking for for past few years now. Um, I have had two other loans in uh, National South and the National League. Um, but to get a league loan where I'm going to be hopefully playing a lot of games, as long as my performances are good, then it's, yeah, it's massive for my uh, next step in my career. Well, certainly you've, you've played some games so far. I know that there's a, an experienced guy in Ian Lawler that's behind you that will be pushing you all the way. Someone like that, I imagine, is going to be a great benefit to you this season. Yeah, definitely. Like he's played, he's played a lot of games. He's been to a few of the uh, clubs where he's played and had an experience of a lot of men's football. Um, obviously, being at City when he was younger as well. Like he's he's a very good goalkeeper, and he's we're pushing each other every day in training. Um, so yeah, it's only going to benefit us for the games. Friendly rivalry. Off yeah. the pitch? Yeah, definitely. Like we get on well. He's a he's a nice lad and I like to think I'm a decent human too. <laughs> Good for well, I hope so. Yeah. Um, what what do you feel are your strengths as a keeper? Um I like to use my uh my height quite well, like coming for crosses, like staying high in the box and dominating and just takes a little bit of pressure off of the uh defence. Um You'd hope shot stopping, I feel like that's a strong point and I think my distribution is quite good, like being calm on the ball if they're going to press and missing out sometimes, going into the strikers and yeah, I think just mixing that up is good. Well, you say about shot stopping there, I imagine in terms of your upbringing in the game at Burton and, and Chelsea that it's now all about being a more rounded player and not just a keeper. Is that your experience? Yeah, a little bit. I think they are... Uh, Sometimes go a bit overboard. They want to play you like centre mid, but you've got to remember the like fundamentals, like goalkeeping, like just keep it out of the net. But then obviously, if you can play well with your feet, if you can do all the other things, then you've got a lot more options in terms of clubs and who, what managers like you and styles of play. I think it's it's a lot better to have them. Yeah, certainly. And look, there's a lot talked about in terms of playing out with your feet and playing out from the back and working with the defence and all that. But for you, is it, you know, firstly and foremost, as a goalkeeper, it's those basics. It's get your saves right, get the ball, stop it going in the net and just focus on that. Yeah, definitely. I think you can't play in goal if, you're, if your main focus is just how to pass the ball. Like You've got to keep it out of the net first and foremost and then alongside that then you add in the the distribution the playing high coming with crosses like everything are you a bit nuts everybody talks about goalkeepers having been a bit crazy is that does that apply to you as well uh i think i'm one of the calmer ones to be honest uh but yeah I'm pretty, i think there's a a large majority of the the keepers are a bit 
a bit cuckoo. Yeah, um, I, I look. I, I've played in net a few times at five a side, and having people whack a football at you at eight hundred mile an hour, game after game after game, isn't for me. So, you know, why why does that appeal to you? Um, I think the buzz of just saving a ball, to be honest, like keeping out of the net, and then you've got your, your teammates like high fiving you, and like the buzz of just keeping a clean sheet and winning a match is like the best thing for me. And I listened to a podcast recently with, with Joe Hart, who's just retired, and he kind of talked about being that that one to rely on. You know, the guy that's that that last line of defence that people can can do in there. Um, do you enjoy that kind of responsibility, maybe leadership aspect of it that comes with being a goalkeeper? Yeah, definitely. Like like I said, like if it is, if it comes to me where I'm the last line of defence and I make a big save, like. The buzz is unreal, and like you keep your team in the game. Same with a striker scoring like a last-minute goal. Um, but also being in goal, you can see the whole pitch. You can see like what's happening. Uh, so it's always good to help out with obviously your communication, like telling people where to be and where to go. And are you comfortable with the fact that your outfield players can make 15 mistakes in a game, and nobody blinks an eyelid yet? You make one mistake and, and everybody shouts at you left, right and centre. Yeah, I think I'm used to that now. I've had a good <laughs> good nine, ten years of doing it, so it's just that's just the life of a goalkeeper, unfortunately. Yeah, um, I wanted to ask about what it's like being a, a footballer at Chelsea because, look, it's, a, it's an incredible club. There's so much talked about it. There's been so much talked about it at the minute. What is it like kind of being there and being a, a loanee from there? It's good. I, I love uh, playing for Chelsea. I love uh, being part of the the project they've kind of got going on. Obviously, I signed before the new owners came in, um, and I've not been there that much um, with all the the stuff that's going on with like signing players and everything. So, I think I've done the best thing for myself uh, in terms of going on loan and getting minutes because. Uh, like you've seen, there's a lot of a lot of goalkeepers, especially. Um, but yeah, I love I still love playing for Chelsea. I love being part of it, and it's a great club. Like they've got me this loan, and nah, it's really good. What have they said to you about what you want from this loan? You know, do they still see a, a future for for you at the club and a potential for you to to break into the the first team and all that kind of stuff? Um, hopefully, we're not. We never really speak about too far in advance. Uh, especially when I've been on loan, it's more about the next game, like playing and then focus on the next game. And then when it comes to it, when your contract is is running out or or what, then then you have a conversation about your future. But I just signed a new uh, deal in May, so it gives me a lot of um, confidence that they, they can trust me. And you are not the only Chelsea loan goalkeeper in this part of the world. Gabriel Slanina has just gone in at uh, at Barnsley as well. Is he somebody that you're in touch with? Is that going to be useful having a bit of a Chelsea loan network around the county? Yeah, definitely. You've got uh, obviously he's similar age to me when he came in. Uh, I spoke to him a little bit. We didn't have too much time together, but I message him sometimes. And yeah, he's a he's a top goalkeeper, so it's good on him that he's got a loan in the in the EFL. Because I, I imagine, look, there's a lot of you that, that are on loan and it'll be an interesting situation. Like, you're all at the same club, but you might not see each other so much. Is there... What, what's the kind of support network like from, from Chelsea and how much they kind of keep in touch with you all and, and look after you? Uh, it's great, to be honest. You've got um, a lot of staff that are, that are wanting to help you. You've got loan managers. You've got, uh, like, Ross Turnbull, who comes to my games... Um, a lot uh, gives me feedback the other coaches who might not necessarily even be loan coaches but just ones that I've worked with like Ben Roberts and James Russell they watch my games they tell me what I did good tell me what I did bad uh, hopefully more good than bad and then yeah they just try and help me as much as possible Brilliant. And just, just finally for me, a little thought on the next few days, Morecambe at home, followed by Everton away in the Cup. Should be a, a fun week, really, around Doncaster. Yeah, definitely. 
Uh, I think everyone's buzzing. Obviously, for the Everton game, it's a obviously a nice stadium and Premier League team, but none of us are distracted by it. We've got more come on Saturday, and we we need the three points. It's a big game.